Hello, and welcome to Nadia's Small from Imaginings. Today I'm going to be painting a landscape with detail. I'm going to show you how I can add detail with the point and the edge of the iron. Quite a lot of detail in this one. So, we shall start with our sky. We still have some of the dark blue on there. Add a little more. And you can load the iron quite heavily. When you're doing a landscape, the sky will get covered with the subsequent layers of landscapes that you're making. So fill the card with sky. Or some hills. Let's go with this darker green for a change. You don't need very much wax for the hills because the wax from the sky will be picked up as well. Just a back and forth gentle soft motion. And this is a little bland. So let's add some detail. First, we'll take our brown. And as you can see from this block, I've been doing quite a lot of trees with this. Take the edge of the iron and drag it through the wax block until you get a little bit of wax in there. And now we'll take it and drag it upwards and branch off and branch off and keep branching off until you get something happening. It doesn't have to be perfect. Stick in the trunk. And if you get enough wax on here, you don't need to reapply your block at all. That's quite a nice tree going on there. Now take our different tone of green, just on the tip. Turn the card upside down. Dab. Tree. Hello, Editing Nadia here. Just a quick reminder, I have got a workshop happening on the first week of February that is happening in Nairn. I will leave a link for booking down in the description. Please check that out if encaustic wax is something you really want to try. Thank you. Back to the video. If you want to go ambitious, you can even take some white. Drag your iron through that, just gently, and add a white highlight on the side of the tree. If you want to be ambitious, that is. You don't have to. Now we just need a little bit of foreground detail, and I'm going to take the brown again, just onto the point of the iron. Along with some white, I think, or some bracken. I take the iron this way, dab it all the way along, go back, keep dabbing, turn the iron, keep dabbing, keep dabbing until it looks nice. You can cover up the base of the tree trunk there, make it blend into the landscape. Take a little of this green to echo this colour of the tree. Take the point and edge of the iron. Put some little grasses. Now we take a contrasting colour, such as yellow. This is very dark, brown and green. Yellow is a nice bright, vibrant colour. Dip the point of the iron in and dab for some little yellow flowers. We can also take a red and have some red flowers. These don't have to be very detailed, they're just a flash of colour. You can blob quite freely. Final touch is the point of the iron and a little bit of blue. Just the very smallest amount of wax. And one stroke and two strokes. There's a bird in the sky. Thank you very much for watching.